Hi guys, I'm Battle Girl. Welcome back to the second part of Transformers Cybertron Primus review. First, let's start with the four bonus, the four miniguns. First, my favorite minigun, which is the only Decepticon that's with them, off, off shoot. A nice little race racing bike thing. It looks really nice. I think it looks good for a minigun. So. Minicons are easy to transform, just split the seat down, which will become his arms. Then, fold this down, and you can split the, the handles on the rear front wheel apart. Those will become his feet. Flip the Decepticon symbol, which you probably can't see. Yes, upside down now. You must flip that open to reveal his head. Rotate the arms. So, like this. And here is offshoot. A real small face. Camera wouldn't focus, of course. Perhaps include some pictures. A lot of back cable. Real easy to transform. But I love the way he looks in alt mode. So transform him back. Clip the front section of the bike together. I said it is easy, but as you can see, every time I say easy, I'm having trouble. Somehow, but it just sometimes they've got to align the path right to get and pack them there. I'll shoot back again in his robot, uh, in his alt mode. Real nice bike. Second is strong arm, which really resembles barricade, and also a tiny bit in the way he transforms. But he is an Autobot, he has an Autobot insignia on the front. So let's transform him, take, take the size of him. and it's He's the diff most difficult one to transform because he really doesn't want to. Finally snap the way it should. There, you must <laughs> flip the sides like this. This is the front, the whole sides just flip upwards. Pretty much like barricade, the whole sides move. And um, then here are his tiny hands in here, which we need to fold out like this. They just slide ever so slightly to the side if he wants to, but he doesn't. There. There's a real tiny, tiny gap which you can't see, but you can put your nail in there to work. To slide that out and to fold out his feet. Next thing we need to is flip up the bumper and fold out his head. So it has a nice head mold. It's pretty difficult to transform for a minicon because snapping uh, the both half out of there is a bit difficult to do, but other than that, the transformation is just folding and sliding on. But I'm just going to transform them back. There. Almost done. There. Click. It just needs to click into place. There. All packed in. Strong arm. Next, <laughs> you would think it is snarl or slag. No, it's knockdown. A knockdown is also a Autobot, although you can't tell the logo, but the silver piece there, there is an Autobot insignia. So, uh, knockdown is a triceratops, a dinosaur. So, let's get him to transform. First, on the side, flip down his feet. Also a lot of folding. See, 
the upper thigh, the front part here is his feet that you can fall down, like so. And then, see this kind of action, toss like this, fall a little bit more like so, rotate the feet a bit down, kind of like this, you know. This section here, the between the front and loss, I would say, you can flip that up to reveal a little hat. Once again, camera can show the pick it up right now. Then what we're gonna do is split by the tail, like so, on the back feet. Just rotate them on, on a ball joint. They are his hands. Now, the difficult part is the back feet here on the tail. They don't clip into anything, but basically this is knocked down. Let's change them back. Close this up. Angle these feet correctly. Flip his head down, and take his feet back to the original position. Knock down back into his dino mode. And last but not least, another favorite of mine, Night Scream. And once again, you would think with Scream at the end, Star Scream, Night Scream, being a jet or an airplane, I think it's a jet. It will be Decepticon. But no. Elite Guard symbol. Well, not Elite Guard, but. It's uh, the symbol of the aerial type of the Autobots. Oh, nice. It's still from Takara Hasbro when they were still working together. So, nice detail. So, first, let's get into transforming him. The thrust of thing on the back it falls up like so which will be his hat eventually these little blue fins here they fold up pretty much like every seeker does these a bit up split by the nose also he has landing gear but it's just molded in there Split there, unrotate it like this. Flip up the head, locking everything a bit into place. Rotate the nose piece, like so. Those are his hands. Painting like a jet one hand side, or there is a bit of molded in detailing. But forgot to fold out the feet, so he's a bit taller. There. Night scream. Also a lovely fellow, but my favorite of the Unicorns is Offshoot, but he's a Decepticon. Other than that, all Autobots, which makes you wonder why put three Autobots and one Decepticon with Primus, and not just uh, four Autobots. Right. That's just me thinking. Night scream. Night scream. Night scream. So that's the four minicons done. Believe it or not, I had to cheat the names. They were written on the instructions. They're written here. And we're gonna gradually on um, moving back to Primus himself. I said Primus comes with this lovely Cybertron key with the Autobot insignia. Oh. And let's just call cool. Optimus has a key shaped like the Matrix because Optimus carries the Matrix. But I would assume Primus also had a Matrix looking like key, but he doesn't. You can activate the ski gimmicks right now, but they make no sense, so I'm not going to bother. 
I'm going to teach you guys a little bit more. I'm going to say see you guys in the next part. Where I'm going to discuss Primus himself on changing into his uh, robot mode. So see you guys in the next part. Beth.